Hey there guys, Frank Omatic here with, uh, what is this, part 9 of Let's Play Legacy of Goku 2, where we are in the city on a Membo Island looking for the androids. All these people are completely useless, so that was odd. I'm going to not talk to them and instead continue to run into people, I guess. Oh no, something has happened. Run, or walk slowly. Oh crap. Yamcha just got his ass kicked. That's pretty much what he does. Also, androids. Blah, blah, blah. Senzu beans are good. Yada, yada. Yes, these are the androids. And they are funny looking. This is android number 20. He is an old man android, because old men make the best androids. And... Blah, blah, blah. They keep talking. Goku doesn't want to fight in the city because there's all kinds of people around and that makes him unhappy. So, the place gets blown up. Now there are no people. Well, he does have a point. Everybody's dead now, so, uh... Also, the other android is some sort of albino clown. So, we're going to be fighting an old man and an albino clown. Isn't that great? He somehow knows us all, but we're leaving. And by leaving, I mean really leaving, because we're no longer with them. We are in the deep reaches of space. With... Vegeta. He is all pissed off about that Goku is better than he is, because he is the prince of all Saiyans, despite the king no longer being alive. Figure that one out. Blah, blah, blah. He's also the prince of exactly one other person, so... That's a great title you got there, Vegeta. You suck. Anyways, he loses it entirely. And... Now that he's lost it entirely... He's a Super Saiyan. Check it out. That means he has green eyes. And also, this means... We can now... access the ability to turn Super Saiyan ourselves. Isn't that great? And now that we're done talking, eventually... We can do that. And also, I just noticed I out-leveled Vegeta here. Whoops. Oh well. His special his special uh, energy attack is the Big Bang attack. Which looks like this. If it hits things, it explodes. Isn't that great? But we are back at Earth. And now the others are going... And now... We must go find where the androids went. But first, we have to talk to this guy. The Namics left after all sorts of crap happened, but there's a few left. If I remember right, there's exactly seven. So we now have another side quest that's going to go on for most of the game. And rather than go help everybody out, we're going to go visit Master Roshi instead. Because he probably has something to teach us. Also, a save point after all the, all that talking is nice, too. But first, let's go learn our new special move from, Yoshi, from Master Roshi. Blah, blah, blah. He says the same exact thing. Two-handed smash. It works the same exact way as everybody else's attacks. But we had to learn it from Master Roshi. Yeah. It's basically a go-on attack using his hands instead of a kick. So, now we can go help everybody else out that we've learned our lesson for the day. Or maybe we can't. Who knows? But, they all moved out to the middle of nowhere. And it's going to make us look at cutscenes as we walk. We're going to fight here. How does he know our names? Uh-oh, Goku's coughing. That can't be good. 
Observation by a remote tracking device. Blah, 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 blah. Watched him and everybody else. Do, 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 do. All kinds of good stuff. Dr. Jero. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. They were not spying on him on planet Namek, which, uh... is interesting. Because that means they did not know that Goku has become a Super Saiyan. Which means he can do this. And his power increases dramatically. Blah, 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 we don't understand. And they apparently don't care. So, now they will fight. Forever. Or they won't fight, and instead we will go back to being Vegeta. And get our asses handed to us by guys with bombs. Yeah, I always had to wonder how, why they immediately sent you somewhere with guys that can kick Vegeta's ass in a horrible manner. I mean, seriously, look at this. I'm just getting destroyed here. This is just pathetic. And now I pretty much have to level up or else I'm going to get my ass handed to me by the android when I go to fight him. But I can't level up very efficiently because these guys just keep whooping me. But that doesn't matter. And yes, upgraded versions of the spy bots. So. We know how to deal with those. Ow. What's down here? Oops. Good thing that didn't work, because that wasn't what I wanted to do anyway. Anyways, let me just level up real quick, and then... We will continue on. Vegeta is now level 19. That will help out immensely. But first... We have to kill all these things. Because that's the only way to open up this gate. And one last one there. And now that we've done that... Whoops. We can walk the wrong way. Ow. Okay, damn it. I forgot how long of a walk this is. We might have to wait till next time to fight the android because this takes forever. Are we there yet? I think we are now. But yes, we finally make it there. And they fight. And Goku is rather queerly dominating. As Ten just told us. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe. But we have a problem. We have a big problem. Something is wrong. Goku is sick. The heart virus. Oh, no! And, uh, he never got sick, so he didn't take the antidote. Now he has to get back there to get it. But we have trouble. He's now at the mercy of the android. Whatever will we do? Oh, no! What will happen? What could possibly save us? Vegeta. And with Vegeta moving in to save the day, that is where we will end this update, because I am a jerk. Come back next time, where we finally fight. Later.